Hey, welcome back everyone. It is the post-pandemic world, unofficially. Everybody's still masked up. I think uh, nobody has declared the pandemic over, but uh, I think it's time to start recording again and putting content on the YouTube channel. Um, in all honesty, I have been recording. It's just that I've been too lazy to edit, so we'll see how this, this event goes today. But we're diving today. We are on the island of Boraca in the Philippines. It's a great, great place to be. Getting here is an issue because the government gets in the way of business, but uh, maybe I'll add into that a little later. But we're with Fisheye Divers. Yes. They are part of the Facebook group that I started a couple of months ago, which is nearly up to 4,000 members now worldwide. It's supposed to be a local membership, but uh, I was looking for dive buddies in February, but we're about 4,000 now, and the owner hit me up a few months ago to be a member. So, hey, you know, I said, hey, Aaron, let's go dive. So we'll see how it goes. It should be a, there should be another diver with us. Uh, she was diving yesterday and they're all gonna they're all gonna be diving again today So I said hey, you know, let's go tag along tag along, but This is Barakai I haven't been there. I, I got here early. I, got, I arrived here last night I wasn't planning to be here until today, but this is Barakai Last time I've been here was eight years ago There's the grotto because it's a staunch Catholic stronghold in Asia. Surprised there's stand up paddle boarding now. Let me get in the water. Let me get in the water. <laughs> All right, water feels great. Woo. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm staying in a little resort. Family owned, uh, second cousin. Uh, left Fiesta Resort. We're in Boat Station 1, by the way. I think this is the best area in Boracay. Uh, just because of all the restaurants and whatnot. Starbucks is here. Uh, so, if they're here, then you should be as well. Not to say that there aren't any decent resorts in, in Boat Station 2 or 3. Shangri-La is actually off-site. They're in a secluded spot in the northern part of the island, I believe. Uh, but, yeah. It's very early. It's eight something. I don't know what day of the week it is, so I've graduated to not knowing what time of the day it is. But hey, come join me. All right, there's our boat, and there's our gear. They're gonna haul it in. Aboard. All right. Alright, we're back at the dive shop because I didn't get any footage because I didn't know how to operate a GoPro. Anyhow, Jessica was on spot on with her GoPro, so we'll see if we can borrow her footage. Uh, anyhow, Aaron is here. Hi. Aaron is the owner and managing director of Fisheye, correct? Yes. Yeah, so do you want to get on the uh, the dive brief now? Yes. Okay. He's got this super duper camera. He saw my dimple. It's on my left side, okay? Uh, and he said he's gonna bring out the camera. So, <laughs> so all right, you're on. The dive side that we're about to go is called Friday's Rock. Okay. So let's say, there's the Boraka Island over here. And if you go to where the notes, there's a Friday's Beach over there. So from the Friday's Beach, Go out there, that's the Friday's rock, 
is a huge rock starting from 17 to 18 meters underwater and the top of the rocks about 10 to 12 meters okay so there's a reef over here around 15 meters and the rock shaped like this yep. okay then in front of the rock here there's a lot of corals coral reefs coral reefs as well and there's an artificial reef over here okay yeah artificial reefs over here and then artificial reef okay so the buoy line okay since that it is going high tide now okay it's half moon going high tide so the, there's not so many so much strong current normally if it's high tide the current is moving from the south to the north okay. so this is not okay so our plan of see how strong the current is when we reach the dive site most probably that there's not so much current but then we will drop normally the line is is more over here there's a line over here there's boy line over here so we'll see where i tied up the boat or most possibly i will just ask the boat to drop drop us on here then we'll start with the currents to swim from the bottom of the rock and then we'll explore okay from starting from the bottom and to the top of the rock okay so from here if, if we swim over this direction there's three reefs over here okay so here is around 18 to 20 meters there's giant giant lion fish over here pipe fish and then peacock mantis streams they're always hanging over here and then of course it's a place for it's dive site for big stuff and some there's also macro macro these uh, underwater creatures here okay let's say the reefs over here you can find orangutan crabs yeah and then of course scorpion fish at the, top, at the rock over here and then sometimes different types of the branch okay like uh, for example like uh, this phyllodosmium uh, phyllodosmium different type of phyllodosmium the branch okay so normally there is a few snappers they will and the giant grouper they will just hang around at the top of the reef sometimes napoleon fish big one they will just hang over here okay so it's a it's the best place to dive with okay so we will we'll, we'll do start explore at the bottom of the rock then we'll swim most probably we'll swim to the three reefs then we we'll come back and if our we don't have bonnet for some time we'll, we'll go up to the, to the top of the rock there okay then we'll swim back it depends on where where do we drop later on we'll send back to the mooring line and then we'll do safety stop there and after that we'll go back up to the boat so the diving time would be around 45 minutes okay so since that you have done the deep dive before so if the bottom times three minutes will surface to the second uh, we'll, we'll go up to the second area second second uh, depth okay and if you have 70 bar left let me know so we'll have to end end the dive at 70 bar reserve 20 bar for the safety stops okay help me out here what's 70 bar and uh so it's either these three things 45 minutes 45 minutes or 70 bar then we'll have to end up what is 70 bar in feet Can yes you I, it would be would be like roughly like 1000 1000 psi okay yeah thousand okay uh, 1000 psi okay because we we start we have we use 20 bar at the uh, five meters okay 50 so uh, the same procedure like what you do before okay you do we do back row here okay so at the end of the dive if we do not make it back to the mooring line then after I will deploy the surface market buoyant so right after the surface we will form a straight line and so let the boat easily take right. us up okay so just in case if we get separated from each other you can look around for one minute search not more than one minute and then surface, surface. 
slowly, as slowly as you can. And beware of the boat passing by. You can use your alternate air source to make bubbles okay, before you survey. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Everything's good. Yeah, so. All right. Okay. Go for the dive. All right, dive two. Let's try to make it happen this time. Clear. Right. Yeah. All right, so it's the day after my dive, my two tank boat dive with fisheye divers yesterday. And I'm back to pick up my gear. Uh, just left it there overnight just to kind of dry out a little bit. It's not gonna be completely dry. And I know there's some construction going on behind me because it is Barakai. There's some kind of construction going on at any given time, but uh, this is their building again. I don't remember if I caught it, but this is their shop. Got the little cart here that uh, a lot of businesses have. Shuttle gear to and from places on the beach. And there's a class going on here. Looks like a DSD. Yeah. 
。好，那再还有一个呢，尽量放轻松就好了，这样的话你游泳，如果不想游，不会游，都没有关系。Very small shop and just walk right through. Um, yeah, this is uh, we're really close to where the grotto is. A little rock formation there is what they call the grotto. So awesome location. So a little bit of a walk from Boat Station One. They still consider this location as as being part of Boat Station One, but I wouldn't walk here from my. From the actual boat station where those outriggers are, with my gear. So they will pick up and drop your gear off, though. So, all right. All right. So we're back at Fish Eye Diving. We got Aaron here again. He is the owner and managing director. It's the day after my dive. I came back here to pick up my dive gear that hopefully dried up a little bit. But anyhow, so. Aaron, what do you guys offer here at Fish Eye? So, okay, Fish Eye, we offer from beginners to professional level of uh, dive education, okay, scuba diving education. So, for example, like we got uh, Discover Scuba Diving, which is, uh, uh, I've got some customers here on the shops. Okay, they were, they were actually uh, residents, Chinese residents who were based in Manila, and they would just drop by in the weekends, okay? so. We we offer them discover scuba diving, which is completely beginners. They know nothing about scuba diving. Okay, so what we what what we do is that we bring them up, suit them up, gear up, and then let them train in the confined water. Let them train a little bit of a safety skill, like how. All right, so we're back. We're switching cameras because the GoPro tan got too hot. It's too hot today in Baraka. So what Aaron was saying is that. They offer, a, right now what's going on is a DSD class behind them. They're, they're, you said they're Chinese residents yeah. from Manila, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, and yeah, so this is what we do. We are from, once you, once you check into the hotel, okay, we offer free pickup. From your hotel, from station one to station three, we yeah. offer free pickup to pick you up from the hotel and to our dive center. Right after that, we'll sign up with some forms and paper, and our instructor will brief you what to do yeah. during the dive. And then we'll, we'll put you with the gears and bring you down to the shallow water to practice some skills. Right. right after that, come back, have some snack. We we'll provide free snack and drinks right. as well. Okay. Then we'll bring you up to the open open water to go for a real dive. Okay. The dive underwater is about 40 to 50 minutes. Okay. So after, right after the dive, when you come back, we we'll provide free towels. Okay. And of course. We also included uh, underwater photography, uh, videography. This is the this is the camera set that we use for discovery scuba diving. Okay. Okay. And so you provide it. it I so provide it for free. And we I can tell you right now that yeah. a lot of the dive shops and there's many dive shops here in Boracay, right? Yes. Uh, but you're one of the if, you, if you're, you're one of the few, if not the only one, yeah. that offers. Pictures and videos, right? Yeah. But, okay. But, For the DSDs and we are, we are yeah, the, one, the four courses. We are the one that uh, only only us on the island now. We provide such kind of uh, photography and videography. Okay. The other is only using GoPro. Right. So like like what we can see now is that I have a I have a TG5 camera here and a wide angle lens. Inon inon wide angle lens here for, for wide angle shootings and. Z three three zero strokes, double strokes, right. and some video lights. So with this set of a camera, we could produce uh, pretty much good photos and videos. And it is free if you if you choose to do discover right. scuba diving with us. Is it just for DSD? What it, about open is, water and the other? It is for DSD and also for courses. Okay, if no, you for do all courses, courses like open water, advance, yeah. or rescue, whatever course that you're using, on one of these dive, our professional photographer will bring. All of these are uh, camera with you, and they will shoot the underwater scenario. Okay. So give you the best memory of underwater experience. Awesome. So again, DSD group. I think there's what eight or nine of them. Yeah, there's seven of them. Seven of them. I can't count. That's how I count in Barakai. They're all excited and enthusiastic, and they're gonna go have fun. Aaron, one last point yeah. about dive photography. Yeah. Actually, there's not so much dive shop in Boracay that can handle a professional photograph. Let's say there is some, there is some divers. They are very, they are very into those macro photography. Yeah. Okay, they like to shoot small, small critters, small things here. 
So our dive shop is, uh, we are the only one that could handle this kind of photographer because we have we have well trained dive master and me and the manager JC, we are also a lover of uh, macro photography. So we know what the customer needs, especially when they're bringing all those fancy big camera comes in. Okay, we our dive master is well trained to spot all of those small critters for ah. And we have we have some secret things that all of the other dive shop that didn't know at all. So we could we could show you these uh, fancy small critters and to be able to let you have a good experience on photo shooting. Ah. And our dive master we train them to, to let them know what uh, how to serve different types of uh, photographer. Awesome. Yeah. Hi, it's me Aaron again. Okay. So this is the new building that we just currently moved here. It will be the, the base basement. This uh, under the ground floor would be the diving shop. Okay. So there will be also a restaurant and bar for the second and third floor. Okay. We are still since it is still new, we are still doing soft decoration on it, and our our logo and our things not yet set up. So it is a little bit raw right now. But then it will be done at the end of uh, this month, most right. possibly. And the diver, once they complete diving, they could they could eat, chill, and hang out at our right. our diving shops. Okay. And those DSD divers that are going out are just right here, right in front of the shop. So you can see all the tanks. I counted eight or nine because they're they're heading out with multiple dive masters, right? Yeah. Right. Instructor yeah. and dive master. Instructor and diver. Yes. So that's why I uh, added a couple more there. But okay. okay. The beauty of Barakai. Another thing, uh, unique things that we offer day trip for different for different destinations. That is a uh, scuba diving day trip and snorkeling day trip, which another shop does not have this kind of offer. We have like Karabao Island. This place is a good dive site here, a great wall with a lot of soft corals over over here, and we will just spend like 20 minutes boat until traveling here and then we will do a couple of dives here so and for those not familiar where are we at we are we are we are over at here okay, Baraka Island. exactly yeah. okay so and then sometimes we could do one or two dives here and then we'll bring them here at the crocodile islands there's crocodile islands here we could do the third dive here and there's magic island and twist island here which where magic island you could you could do like cliff jump and crystal island there's a portrait there's a there's a like a, bird park over here and there's a lot of uh, funny things over the, on, on the island to be explored which was included which is included in our dive package sometimes we could also organize dive trip to the Panay mainland island with Buruwanga here and we could do some di day trip diving at here it's a great war as well then we come back he here or here and there is also a very fancy island called Maniging Island it was way far down over here which uh, it takes a little bit longer amount of time to travel there uh, but you could guarantee you this place to clear visibility that is like 60 meter 60 meter visibility and then you could see a large school of barracuda and large school of jackfish sometimes manta it is right over over here okay. and that's the best best place to go for a dive trip and you have your own dive boat right yeah we have we have our own on dive boat and then of course we are i'm going to also purchase another speed boat a big one power boat, power speed boat so we could reach all of the destination within an hour right okay, okay? yeah because i and i asked that because not a lot of dive shops have their own dive boats they have to contract that out to the local outriggers yes so okay and okay so there's 26 dive sites here yes. plus the one that you talked about down south Okay. Are these all accessible year round or is it seasonal? Yeah, it's uh, actually actually Boraka there's two seasons. There's the Habagat right. seasons and right. the Amihan seasons. So during the, the Amihan season we normally dive in the front. Like for beginners we will we'll let them dive like 26, this is Ango Point and the Coral Gardens for beginners like for courses for DSD. And then but then if you are uh, open water you could dive like for example like Friday's Rock a little bit over here. There, there's uh, there's this uh, dive spot. The maximum depth is only 18 to 20 meters, which is completely suitable for open water. If you're advanced diver, we could bring you to the wall over here, where you can go down to 20 to 25 meters, like uh, Baling High, uh, Diniwi, 
Santoson or this Punta Bunga. And then, of course, there is an interesting dive site called Yapak where you need to do negative buoyant, negative entries here. And the dive site is 30 meters. Okay. Okay. And during the Habagat seasons, when, when the wind coming from the front, we will switch to the back side. Right. And my favorite, my favorite dive site on the back side is the Crocodile Islands. Okay, the Crocodile Islands over here. And it's my favorite dive site. It doesn't have crocodiles there, but just this, the island shapes like a crocodile. Ah, so it okay. is called Crocodile Island. So, don't so worry. we're not diving with we're crocodiles. Not with crocodiles <laughs> so don't worry about that. Okay. And yeah, the unique thing here is that we, there's a lot of soft corals, uh, Greek soft, uh, great soft corals and a lot of sea fans. At, at the sea fans, you could find like a uh, pygmy seahorse, different, two different types of pygmy seahorse, frogfish, uh, a large school of fish over here. Sometimes a uh, big stingray, they're passing by. Nice. Okay, so it's very, it's uh, one of the best dive site. I, 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 to be honest, to me, it was my best dive site okay. here. And of course, uh, these two dive sites, like Tulopan and like Tulopan and Tambisan, the dive site over here, that is uh, also good for diving. Especially for macro photography, you could find a lot of uh, different things here. And it's actually more chances on the back side here to see turtle then compared to the, the front, front side okay so, so wait that brings up a good point here right so yeah. i'm a shark lover yeah where would i dive if i want to go see some sharks sharks okay if there's any yes. passing by here okay yapak would be the, the best, yapak yeah. and punta bunga would be the first choice but recently they were staying at punta bunga actually punta bunga 16 uh they are actually it's very deep punta bunga is about 30 to 35 meters yapak is 32 to 33 okay. meters depends on high tide and low tide yep. and then the, if you want to see small shark there's also one recommendation is called the virgin drop the virgin drop which is, is yeah which is somewhere around here the virgin drop and it is also a wall started at 30 meters but there is a, a small cave there there you can see small sharks oh okay yeah. cool and that looks like it's number nine right there yeah. virgin drop over yep. here okay yeah. awesome yeah all right well hey aaron yeah. thanks for your time Really Thank appreciate you. you talking about your shop here. And uh, yeah, I love it. I mean, I did two tank, uh, two boat tank uh, dives with you yesterday and uh, I'm gonna come back. Thank and you uh, just, uh, and that's just my personal thing. Uh, you know, you guys decide if, uh, if, if, this, if this dive shop is for you, but this was my first time diving here in Baraka. I've been here many different times, but I had a great experience. And Aaron, I wanna thank you for, for making that experience an awesome one. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right.